You owe it to yourself to be great. You owe it to yourself. Some say they're selfish. Some might say they owe it to their family to be there for them. Let me tell you something. You owe it to your family to set an example. An example of someone who lives the life they want to live. A strong example of a strong human being. You owe it to everyone you love to set an example of what a great life looks like. So they can follow in your footsteps. Settling for less, it stops with you. Except an average, it stops with you. Strength, courage, determination, and a beautiful life, that starts with you. You can't help anyone until you help yourself. And when you make you strong, that strength will spill over to everyone else. They will be inspired by you. They will follow your example. Some say to focus on yourself is selfish. I say to settle for a mediocre life that you hate, that's selfish. Because that will be replicated for many generations to come. Until someone says enough is enough. I am more than this. You owe it to yourself to see how far you can go in life. You owe it to yourself to earn the kind of money you want to earn. You owe it to yourself to be the kind of person you want to be. To feel the energy you want to feel. To have the body you want to have from doing the work you know you are capable of doing. You owe it to yourself to feel the pride of knowing you made your life. You didn't get lucky. You worked for it. You sacrificed. When it was hard, you pushed harder. You owe it to yourself to feel that pride. You owe it to yourself to look back one day and say, that was the moment. That was the moment I decided no more. That was the moment I decided no excuses. That was the moment I said never again, never again will I settle for less. I will work, I will ask, I will learn. I will not stop at hurdles. I will not stop at setbacks. I will persist until I win. You owe it yourself. No one else. Do it for you. You owe yourself that much. You owe it to yourself to be great. You owe it to yourself. Your biggest strength in life will be the perception that you have over yourself. How do you feel about yourself? Your self-worth, what is that? See, confidence is the greatest asset you could ever have. And that is built based on experience, based on living, based on what you bring to the table. You see, a doctor doesn't get paid based on the amount of time that he spends with you. You see, a lot of people say, oh, you only saw me for five minutes. How did this cost so much money? No, 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 no. You're not paying for the five minutes. You're paying for everything that he brings to the table within those five minutes. You're paying for the experience. You're paying for all the time that he spent in school to be able to quickly diagnose what's going on with you and be able to give you the proper direction of how to get better. See, that's what you're paying for. And so the doctor has an established worth of who he is. And that is based on the amount of schooling that he went through, the amount of experience that he went through, the amount of preparation and everything and being able to see things through experience. And so he has an established worth based on his time. What is your worth on your time? Just to give you perspective, a million dollars means that you are practically worth $500 an hour based on 40 hours per week. So where do you see yourself? Because you will never be a millionaire unless you really value your time that way. Unless you say, my time is worth $500 an hour. And you have to understand that things that are, are eating up your time, hours in the day, is this activity worth $500? Is spending time with this person worth $500? See, and if you wanna be a decamillionaire, you wanna be a hundred, you wanna own hundreds of millions of dollars, billionaire, well, that goes up exponentially. 
So where do you see yourself? That's the greatest thing. So confidence is the greatest asset you can ever have. And I'm not just talking about a little confidence, saying, yeah, I'm confident. Okay, it's the difference between watching a movie on your smartphone, right, with awful poor sound, or watching a movie in a movie theater with this surround sound where it's rumbling and shaking, where you jump, right, and you, you're basically immerse yourself in the character, and you're, you're basically living that reality. That's what that is. And they've done test after test to show that the more confident you are, the more uh, yes, you believe in yourself in terms of your body language, it affects other people in terms of their perception of you in addition to your own self-belief. So I'm not talking about little tiny detail, like a, I'm talking a little, a little description of being confident, like the smartphone, that's the equivalent. I'm talking about immersing yourself in the tiniest little detail, just like a huge movie theater, to know every little quirk about yourself, to be totally confident about that. They've done study after study. Um, there was one study where doctors in white coats performed significantly better than doctors without white coats. Because it's all about the perception of yourself. And so my invitation to you is to raise your standard of who you are. Raise it, raise the bar, get there. And you could do this, get yourself a nice watch. Get yourself some nice clothes, dress sharp. You will infinitely feel a certain aura about you and, and that gravitational pull from other people will feel better that way. Right? They will want to do more business with you. They will want to hang out with you more. You're presenting an energy about yourself of who you are, your own self-concept. If you are used to a lower standard of life, a lower quality of living, if you accept that, your subconscious knows that, okay, we can get by here. If you do not accept that, if you will not accept that life and you say, my bar is here. I do not settle for anything under it. Well, guess what? You won't. You will reach that bar. And you can only achieve these great things in the world if you truly believe you're worthy of them.